Hi fellow traders. Uh, this is the first video that I'm doing. <clears throat> Still don't know if it's going to work out right, but um, this is the the first video to guinea pig. Um, not a whole lot positive to share with you today. Um, I did get this account set up. What I did, I went through opening a new account from scratch um and just going through the motions the same thing that everybody else has gone through and that they've asked me questions about and the process is a little different than when i did it initially but you know a lot of it's kind of the same so that was you know pretty seamless not a whole lot of issues with opening the account so i funded it put 1500 bucks in it um and they took out some for the platform fee at the beginning of the month and because i funded this like last week and they took out some for that so this morning everything was fine i went to lunch and i come back and i'm 500 dollars short and you can see I didn't take any trades today on it. You know, nothing really set up for me to take a trade, you know, for the stocks that I'd be looking for, you know, to trade in this account. Uh, plus, I was late getting in because I had to take my son to basketball camp and get him signed up and in and that checked in and all of that. So I didn't get back till after 930. So I didn't have anything set for the open. And I was just going to wait for, you know, any reversal plays that, that popped up um, that I could trade out of this account. And, you know, I get back and this is what I come into. So I, you know, try to get in touch with Sure Trader. And let me show you. Okay, here's five tech support messages that I sent them over a period of say four or five hours. And, you know, I was trying to use the, the, uh, the live chat. I've used it for over two years. I've never had issues with anything with my other account. No problems with funding it no problems with buying power sometimes um if it didn't update i could send a quick message we'll get it taken care of in a matter of minutes and it's done today i kept going on and it kept giving me nobody's available or well, first it said trying to connect then it said still trying to connect do you want to leave a message and then it says cannot connect all agents are busy um, please leave a message or leave a message so I will leave a message and then start over again so that's where all of these five messages come from you know that's what all of these are one two three and every time I send a message this was this is a quick note to notify you that we received your support request and each one had a different ticket assigned to it so, you know, obviously I was pretty hot by 3, 3.30 when I haven't heard anything from these people. So, uh, when was this? Uh, 3.53 is when I get the first email from them. And the email says, thanks for getting in touch with us. Your account has been corrected for you. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to ask. My account had not been corrected. So I refreshed it, came back, still no correction. Then, you know, I check iBoss again. iBoss is right. I should have 14, 43, 21 in here. Um, that's what should be in this account right now. So, you know, didn't didn't get that it never got transferred over here 
So I get another message back, 459, one minute before they shut down for the day. And it says, thanks for getting in touch with us. Are you still having this issue with your BP being updated? Uh, yeah. So <clears throat> that was my day. So no trades. Um, didn't really get out of the gate, you know, but it's funny. I didn't make one trade, but my account went down 500 bucks. You know, it's their fault. You know, they know it's a mistake on their part. But this is the first time that I've ever had anything like this happen and had to go through anything like this. So I don't know. This may be a bad day. But as of right now, I couldn't recommend sure trading to anybody. Um, it's just not one of those. It's not something that I would wish on anybody. So maybe tomorrow will be better. And it's not. Everything will be, you know, back to normal. And the day was just a bad day. Um, we'll see. You know, I'm, I have because I've used them so long and haven't really had any problems, I'm just going to kind of chop this up to a bad day. So hopefully I'll have a good video for you tomorrow. I'm looking at SRPT. This thing gapped up five bucks, um, you know, aftermarket on some crazy news. I mean, you wouldn't think it would gap up $5 on, on news like this. Let me see. I just kind of quickly glanced at the news. I use FinViz. This gives me everything in one place. All the technicals I want to see. Um, and the news right here. And so it just says. SRPT announces FDA request. For. Dostrophin data prior to making a decision. Um, SRPT value analysis. So I looked at the value analysis and it says it was over, let me see, it says it was overvalued. So <clears throat> this thing says it was overvalued and it gaps up five bucks. So I don't know. I, I'm going to read more into it tonight and see. You know, it might be something of interest tomorrow. You know, if it hits the gap scan, then I know, you know, we may have a, um, a play here if it's got some volume on it. But, I, you know, something to keep an eye on uh, for tomorrow. And it seems to be holding this game. Seems to be holding the gap. It did get a little pull back here I was looking at, but it pushed up over 21 and pulled back to the 9, and it's riding it. So it is holding its gains. It'll be interesting to see, you know, how it opens in the morning. Um, that's all for me today. Um, I did make one trade um, out of my speed trader account, so I, I will be. I'll probably recap that later on or maybe tomorrow. It was just a reversal that didn't really have much follow through. I mean, I think I got maybe 22, 23 cents on it and, you know, to book some profits because it kind of got hung up in an area in no man's land and then eventually turned and I clicked the rest at break even. So it really wasn't much to look at. Um, but hopefully, We'll have something on this tomorrow. But just wanted to share my um, share trader experience with you and, you know, show you all of the emails that went out. You know, I'm not making this up. This is what's going on. And I want to show you the platform. This is how I've got it set up. I don't use these charts um, when I'm watching the trade because. You know, I don't have any of the levels or anything on it. Um, I'm watching the my Think and Swim charts, 
And when I get ready to enter a trade, I will, you know, have this set up. Now I did set up hotkeys on it. So, you know, I do have a couple of hotkeys and I'll share them once I'm verified that these things actually work. Because you may see me do something opposite or I might not have programmed it right. Um, but, you know, we'll see when I take that, that first trade. But, um, you know, what I'll do is once I get a level that I'm honed in on, then I'll draw a trend line on this chart and, you know, another trend line for the next level based on what I have on, on Thinkorswim. And, you know, I'll do it that way. But it's easier for me to do my levels and everything on Think and Swim because it's it's what I learned on and everything is it's the seamless transition. All right, so that's it for me today. I will um, see y'all guys tomorrow in chat. If you're not in, hopefully you took advantage of the seven for seven deal, seven dollars for seven days. And spend a week with us, get to to know us, see what we're about, and hopefully you'll decide to stay. If you haven't taken advantage of it, you need to go to our website at warriortrading.com and um, you know take advantage of this opportunity. It probably won't happen again for another six months, so it'll be well worth it. All right, hope everybody has a great evening, and we'll see you guys tomorrow in chat.